All right, folks, this is part four. And hopefully you guys are still with me. We're doing uh, step nine now, which is basically this bracket, which is uh, for webcam. So if you don't have, if you don't need a webcam, you could probably, I'm going to say you could skip this step. I don't think it's going to add any uh, rigidity to it. Makes it a little more top heavy. Um, but uh, other than that, I'm going to put it on here because we want to complete this. So, what do we have, folks? We have some hardware that's shown. There's going to be a little platform that goes on top of this. Um, so, you might be able to use it for something else. Maybe put a picture up there. But uh, we need. F and G it appears. F and G. So it's probably a short bolt. Little little F, little G. Short little bolt right here. And a uh, a washer. Looks like a where's the nut folks? Because these aren't uh, threaded, or are they? Let's see. Is this threaded? Okay, so we're threaded here. So we only need that little And I quite honestly, at this point, folks, don't know where it's going to switch. Uh, I don't know if these are the Phillips head ones. Let's just check. See if this will screw in. Nope. Unless that one is. I don't think those are the right screws, folks. They are shorter. Realistically, folks, this looks like the they look like the right ones. They just don't feel like the right ones. So let's see if we can maybe power these in with a uh, flathead. Not a flathead, a uh, Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so it is the one that requires a Phillips head screwdriver. Now with this, of course, the question will be how high to put this. Wow, am I doing this right, folks? Something's wrong. Yours truly is doing something wrong here. Okay, so it goes on the other side and faces the opposite direction. But at least we did discover that we needed a Phillips head.
do this again. And what did I, I'm trying to think of what I paid for this. Fifty some dollars. And we got a we got like five percent off, ten percent off. A lot of my Amazon gift card money that I spend I get through other other means, so grand scheme of things didn't cost me anything. But still. Alright. So we don't know how high we want this to be. But we're going to just go with where we've got it so far. We need a couple more washers. Let's see one. I don't see the other small one. But so we may have to put this on without the final small washer. So either I didn't get the right amount of parts or I lost I lost them. Oh, I don't want to cross thread this thing. I do not know where my other washer is at. Oh, found it. Never give up, folks. Never give up. So if I were to design one of these, I think I would make slightly bigger wheels. Um, you know, if that's something you can replace, might help with the mobility. All right. Now we just have this one thing to do. Let's get us a better angle, okay? I think you guys can see that. Turn the slide. There we go. Let me slide back a little. So this platform is big enough. Wow, that's heavy. That's a heavy platform. That you could potentially put a DVD player up there. I'm thinking. And to finish this off, folks. It looks like there's going to be one more video made we need um, that's part L is the big plate that's going to go on we're going to need M so M must just be a screw yeah is a uh, itty bitty M5 Really small screws. The small screws that are in the in this thing, okay? We'll show you in a second. There's four of them. And man, they are small.
There you go. That's what they look like. Okay, really small. And this platform that appears it could go on here two different ways, four different ways actually. There isn't really a good picture showing the platform installation. So folks, uh, you know, the picture should show the flange, reinforced flange, but it does not. So it's up to you. And then this thing may, I'm thinking it may end up getting in the way of your TV set. So, this is not the easiest thing to do, folks. Hi, above it. Um. Honestly, the directions for this suck because uh, it would have been easier, I think, to put this on this bracket and then put it up. <laughs> um, I have the flange in the back of it because I think that will help you with your, let's say you did put a DVD player or something up there. It might help keep it in place. So I'm having problems. We got one screw in. We may have put it in too tight. Okay, we have a second screw in. So you always have to worry about issues with manufacturing quality. And it does appear that this one hole is Got some issues with it. So if we had a way, there we go. We're getting it in there. Just had probably tape paint on the threads, and so that's in there, folks. So that is that's what it looks like. Um, look at it from the side. Pretty solid, you know, the base, uh, the wheels could be a little better, but that's what it's going to look like. Now we just have to put the brackets on the TV. So that's the next step. Um, and then we'll hang it. Hopefully I'll be able to hang it. I'm going to leave the legs on the TV when I do it. But uh, that's the final video. And uh, it's going to do it for this one. Thanks for checking out the, this video. If you want to uh, continue on, uh, check out video four.